Welcome to Switch Lock. Turn-based RPG is an RPG with a battle system where we take turns with the enemy. For us old school RPG lovers, we love being able to plan out things more strategically and the ability to think through as we battle the enemy. For this video, I will make a list of the best turn-based RPG games on Nintendo Switch you must play in 2022. Then, let's get started. The Legend of Heroes Trails from Zero is the best setup game in the entire The Legend of Heroes series. Its deep and complex narrative has a strong sense of mystery and isn't afraid to dive into tough topics. With great cast of characters and an interesting story, along with a ton of quality of life improvements, this game still feels as modern as anything coming out today. Within are some of the best blending of mechanics and tidbits within turn-based combat system. Even though we don't have the Sky series yet on the Switch, this is a great start to venture into the Legend of Heroes series. Blue Reflection Second Light is exactly what a player would expect and hope from a better version of its predecessor. Everything presented in its first game is improved in this game. It brings us a very interesting experience and theme, as well as an addictive combat system with great soundtrack and unique and likable cast of characters. If you are looking for a cozy, low-stress RPG to spend some time with, Blue Reflection Second Light makes a compelling case. Operancia The Stolen Sun is a dungeon crawler RPG that will give you an old-school vibe. After creating your character out of three classes, you begin your adventure in a cursed underwater castle, where you find the first of six possible additional party members. The combat system is turn-based and easy to learn. There are many secrets to find. You need to check every room and walls because it is needed. If you enjoy turn-based RPG, this one is worth checking out. Atelier Sophie 2, The Alchemist of the Mysterious Dream is a very enjoyable game set after the events of the first game. You are an alchemist, so you wander the maps in this game gathering up various resources to melt them all to create your latest experiment. The combat of this game is also enjoyable in its own right, with easygoing and chill gameplay. It does have its rough around the edge, but depending on your interpretation and expectations of the story, this game will give you a light-hearted RPG adventure. Bug Fables The Everlasting Sapling is a fun RPG with charming characters. The main story quest and the side quest is a ton of fun. The developers clearly knew their target audience as well. Not only does this game fall back to a nostalgic formula, it was created in such a way that the difficulty itself would have aged with its audience. On its own, the combat system is creative and fun, with an interesting world to explore as you play the game. Any RPG fan will love this game. Despite the somewhat predictable story, Bravely Default 2 somehow managed to be a compelling and deep RPG. It proved there's still life left in old-school JRPG ideals with challenging and addictive combat and beautiful art style and sounds. The asterisk job system does a fantastic job in making you want to green away and level up every class to experiment with wields. Taking charge of massive customization options to build a party that can uniquely demolish the variant bosses is incredibly satisfying. Darkest Dungeon is not a game for newcomers or any RPG fans who want to experience a casual game. It's a game where your monument to success is built atop a mountain of failures. It's one of the few hardcore RPG that we can play without getting annoyed or bored at its difficulty. The controls is convoluted when adapted to a controller, but it doesn't take too long to adjust. 
while the loop of entering dungeons and slowly building up resources and character levels seem repetitive on paper, it's really more addicting as you play it and master the difficulties. Atalaya Ryza 2 Lost Legends and the Secret Fairy is a more traditional Atalaya game, with most of the story content being purely character events with no big plot. It's a slower paced and relaxing game. It does a lot of what made the original game great, and it has characters who are easy to love and fast realistic problems. Overall, it's a good game that fix most of the issues from the original with more party members, more areas to explore, and a huge amount of character events. Live Alive is an epic story made up of multiple narrative and protagonists taking place over different eras. The characters are memorable and the presentation is incredible. Every scenario presents a unique and compelling message with relevant lessons and its short runtime means barely a second is wasted. It doesn't have the long range sessions other RPG have and is almost designed for you to just enjoy yourself with someone new and different for a couple hours each night. Tokyo Mirage Session FA Encore is a crossover between the Fire Emblem series and the Shin Megami Tensei games. The aesthetic, charm, and gameplay Tokyo Mirage Session brings make it worthy to stand on its own. It is so much more than idle Fire Emblem. It's a solid GRPG that can hold its own among some of the best out there. The battle system is so much fun with dynamic combos that links one after each other. This game is brightly colored, silly, and very fun experience. The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 4 is a conclusion to the saga and shows Falcom dedication on connecting stories throughout all of the Trails games. It's a fantastic farewell to the saga and its cast of characters. This series is something that GRPG fans should not miss out on, even though it needs dedication to play all of the Trails games to maximize the experience of this game. Unfortunately, Switch doesn't have all of the games of this series for us to fully experience on, but at least we can start from Trails from Zero. Octopath Traveler embraces old school RPG conventions and it's a love letter dedicated to the gamers of the 16 bit era. The player steps into the roles of eight different characters as they set off on their own individual journeys only for all of their stories to collide. The battle system is really deep with various ways to end the enemy, and the map is huge with a lot of secrets like treasures secret bosses, and many more. The nostalgia and style of this game will appeal to all, not just the 16-bit generations. Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin might get overshadowed by Monster Hunter Rise, but it's still a solid game with a great turn-based combat contrary to the other Monster Hunter game. It's a game that masterfully straddles the line between being simple enough to learn quickly and complex enough to theorycraft well into the late game encounters. The original stories was an easily overlooked game since it was exclusive to the 3DS. However, the sequel is also an amazing and charming title on its own. Shin Megami Tensei V is a premier GRPG that can't be missed. It's filled with challenging encounters that are immensely satisfying to overcome. The monsters and party setup are highly customizable, paired with the phenomenal soundtrack, fantastic as usual world building, and improved depth of exploration. This is a must-play GRPG if you consider yourself a fan of the genre. This game delivers on everything it promises to be and more. Dragon Quest XI-S Echoes of an Elusive Age is one of the best RPG available on the Switch. The core gameplay is incredible and solid, and there's plenty of content to enjoy. It's an awesome GRPG for the Switch with 100 plus hours of gameplay. 
turn-based fighting mechanics, awesome music, and beautiful graphic. The combat is deceptively simple at first glance, but at the game progress, you will see that there is a good deal of strategy involved in getting the most out of the characters. Overall, it was a lovely experience and you won't regret playing this game. That's all for today's video. If you like the video, please do consider subscribing and leave a comment in this video. Thanks you all 